Uh, for those of you who are just joining us, I'm going to talk about Meet Edgar. I've been asked by several people to do a tutorial on Meet Edgar, and uh, and I'm going to do it. I love Meet Edgar. There is a, an alternative uh, that has just come along called Recur Post. I'm going to put the link to that in the comments when I'm done because I've got a special. They're offering a special deal to my audience with this special link, so I'm going to put that in the in the comments. The reason I'm not using Recur Post is because I have so much content in Meet Edgar right now um, that it's hard, you know, that I'm reluctant to make the switch just yet. I just don't have the time. Um, but uh, I do love Meet Edgar, and I'm going to show you how how I use it. Okay. Um, essentially, Meet Edgar is a um, it's a scheduler that automates your content, sends it out over uh, social media. So what makes Edgar special, um, and I would say Recur Post as well, and Post Planner is trying to do this. Buffer tried and failed, and I do love Buffer uh, for, whole, for a whole other host of reasons, but what makes it special is that when you put content into Edgar, you can make it so that it circulates sort of forever and ever. You don't, for example, let's suppose you work really hard on a blog post and or um, a freebie of some sort and you, um, you know, it takes a long time sometimes to create this content. You post it on your blog, you send it out social media as people have told you that you should do and you dutifully post it on Pinterest and Instagram and then what? Then it's gone. It's 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 gone. It we have an attention span of just a few seconds. We're all being inundated with content, so people may see it, they may not see it, they may have opened up your email about it about it, they may not have. And what Edgar allows you to do is stick it in this machine, and it goes out around the clock, and um, and you get to reach more eyeball eyeballs, more people continuously. Okay. Uh, so that is worth the price that they charge um, because it's your time, right? Your time is worth a lot of money, and it is saving you a ton of time. Okay, so let's um, let's move on over to my screen, and uh, I'm gonna sh we're gonna go right into it. Okay, I'm trying to check for comments, but it's kind of it's um, you know bear with me. It's they don't show up so great on my other device. And I'm following on my Facebook page, and it reposts the most popular posts. Uh, yes, right. Thank you, Sylvia. Okay, so here we are, me, Edgar. Now, what you're looking at right now is the schedule. And the way that I want to show you this is basically from a setup standpoint, assuming that you are brand new to meet Edgar, okay? So the first place you want to go um, when you set up your Edgar is to the schedule and you're going to see it up here. It's the third menu item from the left across the top of the screen on the horizontal bar and it says schedule. And um, what you're going to do is first actually go to your queue and pause the queue. You're going to make sure that's paused. You don't want anything going out. Um, and you don't want anything going out until you pretty much have this loaded up and ready to go, okay? Then you're going to click Add a Time Slot. And you would have already connected your accounts. I guess I'm not starting from the very beginning, and Edgar will prompt you to do this. But you're going to connect all the accounts that you want Edgar to send content out to, okay? So now you can see here I've got all my accounts connected. And I'm going to say, um, what I like to do is I like to insert time slots specifically for, for various channels because I'm not going to post the same amount of time to LinkedIn as I do to Twitter. Not at all. So LinkedIn, I think I have it set up for twice a day. Um, and for Twitter, oh gosh, in the teens, uh, how many times I tweet a day, okay? So... I'm going to um, uncheck them all, and I am just going to add uh, Twitter, okay? And then I am going to click that I want things to go. This is one way to do it, okay? Um, and then I'm going to click that I want things to go out Monday at 9 o'clock um, and 
sorry, I'm not explaining this very well, for the category. So let's say I want my blog post to go out Monday at 9 a.m. and then I click save. I don't want to click save because I don't want to mess, mess things up. And I'm going to fill up this content calendar with um, all the times that I want certain kinds of content to go out at certain times of day. So let's look at our library. So if you look over on the left, this is one of the things I really love about Edgar, is that everything, all the different types of content are color-coded, okay? And they give you a default, um, a default set of categories, but you can add as many categories as you want. So you'll notice here that I have a category for blog posts. So let's click on that. Okay. So this is my library of content for blog posts, and it's essentially all of my current, current and older blog posts that I've got. And as you can see, with the, by the little Twitter icon, I have these rolling out to Twitter. Uh, I have these rolling out um, to Twitter, and they're going, now we're going to go back to the scheduler, and we're going to look for that color. Now, I don't know if you guys can see it on the screen, but blog posts are colored with this like mustard color, okay? So as you can see, they're going out around the clock. And Edgar is going to pick, I mean, I'm not picking, in this particular case, I'm not telling Edgar that I just want this blog post or I just want that blog post. Edgar is going to pick them randomly um, or, as Sylvia said, based on the ones that are most popular and send them out into my um, into my Twitter. And they're going out all the time, 10.30, 11, um, 1 p.m., okay? Which is okay to do with Twitter. Uh, I wouldn't recommend sending anything out that much um, on, your other, on your other channels. And I should also add that it's okay to do this with Twitter if you have um, enough content. If you only are sending out two blog posts, obviously, you don't want the same thing going out all the time. Now, I'm going to go back to my library, and you'll see that I have a category, where is it, for promotion. And right now, I only have one thing in there, which is, um, is my uh, marketing mechanics course. So I need to add more to that, actually. I need to add a few more things. So what I'm going to add, actually, and what's on my list of things to do today, is I am promoting uh, Todd Herman's 90-day year. So I'm going to be adding in several um, several things here. Or what I can do is if it's something that really has a, um, a defined beginning uh, and an end, and actually in the case of Todd's launch, you know, he's going to be rele releasing, um, I think, three or four three or four uh, training videos over the course of the next couple of weeks. And I want to make sure and alert my audience each time one of these awesome training modules hits the scene. So instead of adding it to the promotion category, what I'll do is I'll go over here to categories. I'm going to add new category and I'm going to call it Todd's launch. Okay. I don't want to include this for random selection. Uh, if you do this, then what you're allowing Edgar to do is, like I said earlier, just grant, grab something randomly. We don't want that. So I'm going to click Save. And where is it? There it is. It's hot pink over here, Todd's launch. So then... Uh, what I'm going to do is go to the schedule, and now I I am I want Todd's launch to um, I'm going to I'm going to put categories throughout on Twitter and Facebook, LinkedIn, specifically for Todd's launch. So um, first, I'll start with Twitter and. Actually, let me keep this here on all accounts. And I'm going to add a time slot. So we're going to say, um, as an example, 
Monday at 9.30. And the category is going to be Todd's Launch. Okay, and I'll click Save. Now let's find it. I can't remember what time was that, 9.30? So I'm on Monday, here it is, Todd's launch. Now, it, it automatically defaulted to all these accounts. I do not want that, so I'm gonna uncheck them all. And for this, I just want Twitter. And uh, I'm gonna click Save. Now, on the library, I'm gonna go over here to Todd's launch, add new content, Todd's launch. All right, so this is where I'm going to enter in the tweet itself, and I'm going to choose a, an image, right? So I'll be able to put an image there, and, um, and then I'm just going to click Save to the Library, and I'm going to make sure I click over here on Twitter. But here's the thing. Um, what's so great is that when Todd's launch is over, then I'll just go over to the library and delete all that content. And so it will no longer uh, be going out. Or I could go to the calendar and just delete all those slots for Todd's launch. I know this is still kind of confusing. Um, let's go back to the schedule and let me let me sort of give an overview one more time. So when I initially set this up, and yes, when you look at this. This is incredibly time consuming. The way that I made it work for, for me was I just did one day at a time, okay? So unfortunately, I can't go in here and I can't, um, I can't, I can't fill up the schedule all at once. There's no way to do this other than to do it day by day. So, what I did was I did Sunday, let's say I, st I opened my account on Monday, okay? So I went ahead and filled out the rest of my day or all of that day, and then I did the following day, okay? And that took me, you know, 30 minutes, maybe maybe more. Um, and then I took time that day to do Wednesday and Thursday. But once you've done your whole schedule, then you are good to go. You don't have to do this again, except for like in this situation that I'm telling you um, with Todd's launch, that's a whole nother component I wanna add into my uh, content calendar. And uh, like yesterday or every week when I create a new blog post, then I make sure that I go in here, add new content, category, blog post, Twitter, uh, and then I will add now, I could make it LinkedIn and, and all that too, but uh, for now, I'm going to say Twitter and choose a file for my, for my blog post photo, put in the link to my blog post and then the, the, the text of my tweet, save it to the library, and I do that once a week. Other than that, I'm good to go. The other thing I want to show you is over here on feeds. So what you can do is um, you can, let me click manage all feeds. So you'll notice here that I'm connected to Simply Measured, TechCrunch, Social Media Examiner. And um, I've got their content going out into the Use Once category. Actually, I don't want this Simply Measured going into the Tips category. That's an error. I want it to go into Use Once. Um, and what Use Once does is it's not going to uh, it's only going to send it out one time into your, in, in this case, it's going into my Twitter feed. My social media examiner articles are going to LinkedIn and Twitter. And they're only going to go one time. And the reason is because I don't know that the stuff that is coming off of TechCrunch and social media examiner is evergreen. It might just be the latest news. Like Instagram just announced that you're they're going to allow for live streams in Instagram stories. Well, that's gonna be old news next week. So um, so this is industry news that I know is good. Like I don't have to open up a social media examiner article to know that I would support it or stand behind it. Um, and, and, and what I would say to you is don't 
automate this if you don't know that the RSS feed or the source that you're subscribed to is good information because, because, right? You don't want to send stuff out there that's junk. Um, and what else? Okay, so let's look here at my feeds. So what this is showing me, I have set this up so that I have to approve the, a con the content before it goes out. So even though I just said I trusted it, um, in the case of TechCrunch, some of the stuff that they do, or maybe it's, yeah, TechCrunch, some of the stuff that they do is just not um, relevant to my people. So let's take a look at some of this. Um, all right, so I like this one. It's not just you, iCloud, iCloud calendar spam is on the rise. I'm gonna click approve. So that is now in my feed to go out in the use once category on Twitter. I do not care about this, so I'm going to click Reject. Uh, San Francisco Transit System hit with ransomware. Um, nah. Okay, 10 gifts for the data-driven driver or car lo lover. Yeah, that sounds good. You see what I mean? So this takes a little time for me each week as well, but it's a great way for me to provide um, super content to my audience. And... Um, you can, I can filter by like, let me look at just social media examiner. All right, nothing here now. So let's look at blog. I mean, it's simply measured. I think I need to, I think I need to reconnect these. Okay, what else do I need to show you? Let me check questions um, and see where you guys are. Okay. Um, does Edgar figure out what's the best time to post to each profile and network? No, um, not, not exactly. Um, you know how Buffer, I don't know if you're familiar, but Buffer will let you see like what, um, when your people are online and, um, and Facebook will let you see when your people are online. So what you can do is uh, and actually Twitter Twitter natively will let you see who's online or when your people are online and then you can go into your um, into your Edgar and schedule accordingly uh, so question answered thanks for another great live stream oh thank you Sylvia hey and you guys follow Sylvia because Sylvia is is um, a tech nerd and loves tech and loves to figure out how things work and she does great live streams as well she's a she's filled with great knowledge okay so um, I'm sure I'm gonna get off of this stream and I'm gonna say hey I I totally forgot to talk about this but um, let, and let me let me just say uh, how many times I post a day to each each channel okay so Twitter, um, I'm posting probably 13, 14 or more times a day, okay? Um, you know, that's okay on Twitter. When you tweet, your your tweet disappears in, in a matter of minutes, uh, so I'm okay with that. Um, and also, I've made sure that I've got a lot of diversified content. So I've got blog posts, Twitter cards, um, promotional material quotes, tips, and, uh, and, and here's a little a pro tip for you, okay? When you're, when you're loading up your Edgar, especially if you feel like you don't have a lot of content, let me show you, this is something I show to all my clients, is uh, you go over to Canva, and um, Twitter posts, by the way, like if you, if you format something as a Twitter post, this will also work well on uh, LinkedIn and on Facebook. So I like the shape of these, okay? So you're going to pick a background. Let's say your brand color is hot pink. Ha, huh. like that is, of course, my brand color. And I'm just going to show you the simplest thing in the world. So I'm going to pick, um, let's pick this text here, okay? And Carpe diem. I am going to make this big, bigger than that. I'm going to put my special hashtag on here. And of course, 
it's not it's it's not going to be searchable your hashtag is not going to be searchable uh, just because you put it on here but it's going to show people what hashtag to look for if they want to see more of your good stuff so I always use Jen's tips okay and then I'm probably going to want to put not too big honk not too honk and big or anything but I want to put over here my website okay and all right this would be dumb you don't want to just do carpe diem but what I'm trying to illustrate here is you would put one of your great tips here okay whatever your niche whatever your industry I know you're full of good tips and you're probably you're you're full of so many tips that what you're gonna do is you're going to uh, put your tip on this card and then you're gonna come over here and hit Duplicate, 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 duplicate. Maybe 20 times, okay? And then what you're going to do is put a just change on each of these cards. You're just going to change what your tip is. Then when you download these, um, when you download these as a PNG, okay, click download, Canva is going to put these into a nice, beautiful folder for you. So you've got this nice folder of your tips. Then you're going to go over to Edgar and you're going to upload those tips into your library and you will have created a, uh, you see here I've got this bucket called tips. And you see all these little pink cards? These are various Twitter tips. I really need to update this and add some more tips. Uh, but that's something really easy you could do that is not promotional and really gives value to your audience. Um, and then you can do the same thing with quotes. People love a good quote and they really do get shared a lot. Um, so some of these actually quotes, this one that says, if it's not a hell yeah, it's a no. I get that. I get, I get retweeted on that one all the time. Um, but I also need to add some, I need to freshen this up a little bit. Um, but that's just an easy way to get your content stream started. Um, now, these are social media posts. And so, Social Saturday, so I post that every, um, did I say these are social media posts? These are for my Facebook group posts is what I meant to say. So, Social Saturday, um, the way that I have this in my calendar, so it only goes out on Saturday, is... We're going to go over to Saturday. So I created basically a, a whole uh, category just for Social Saturday. That's the only way I could figure to do this, and it works really well. So there it is, okay? So let me click on it. Um, it goes to the Front Row Facebook group. It goes Saturday at 6 a.m., and that's it. So every Saturday, that goes out. And I do that with all of my Front Row posts all my group posts that's it I guess let me see if we have any any uh, questions and then I'll come back live with you I mean I'm telling you this it is so hard to follow quote here we go hey Steph Steph says hey um, Isabel says are you still feeling meet Edgar is the best option um, okay so I would say that if you're starting out new um, let me come back to, let me come back to me. Hold on. So this is what I would say. I would say that if you're starting out new, um, and you aren't on Meet Edgar yet, then you probably want to do Recur Post because Meet Edgar just raised their price and Recur Post is significantly less expensive. It was, you know, um, it was, it's great to have that, that as a, um, an alternative to, recommend to people because um, until Recur Post came along, there was nothing that did what Edgar did, and I couldn't understand it. I couldn't understand how they could dominate the market like that. Um, and the, the people in the front row who did join Recur Post, as Diane said here in the in the comments, um, she's, she's really happy with it. So I've heard great things. So that's my answer to that. Um, I also use, I, I didn't really, t oh, I didn't tell you how many times I post a day to each channel. So LinkedIn, I post twice a day. Twitter, I post many, many, many times in the teens, uh, high teens probably. Um, 
Facebook, okay, so Facebook I do a number of different ways. Um, I actually really enjoy posting natively to Facebook. Uh, there's only a few things that I that I will do from Meet Edgar, mainly to the Facebook group. So for my page, I either like to natively schedule things in advance because, because Facebook does offer you some cool features like there's a little targeting button on your Facebook page. When you go to post something, it looks like a, a bullseye, okay? What that allows you to do is organically, without paying, target just as you would if you were doing a, a, a Facebook ad, right? So you can target, I can target people who follow Kim Garst or Amy Porterfield or whatever. I like that. Um, and I can schedule it in advance. So I can also make it disappear at a certain time. So Facebook has done a great job. So, so I really like to just do that natively. Um, um, what, what else? Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, um, Oh, and I also love Post Planner. So I also use Post Planner. I'm not saying that, I'm not recommending that you guys use Post Planner, and I use Buffer. So, um, and I'm not going to go into all the ways that I use each one. I'm not doing a tutorial on each one, but I'll say what I use Buffer for is I've got so many cool integrations on my phone with apps like Feedly and Kite and um, uh, Feedly and Kite and what is my other one? Okay, well, let's just say Feedly and Kite because I can't remember the other one. And what I'll do is when I'm standing in line at the grocery store or whatever and I've got my phone with me, I am feeding awesome content into my buffer all the time via those um, via those apps. They're, they're going out and finding really great content for me. And so I'm able to do that with buffer. And that's strictly Twitter for me. Um, Post Planner is great for... Post Planner will show you content that is already um, that is already great and already really popular. So, and you can pick it by category. So you know if you put that on your Facebook page or anywhere else for that matter that you're going to get engagement. So I love Post Planner. Um, and they're doing their evergreen situation is getting better. They've made a lot of changes. Honestly, I haven't had time to go and really explore all the cool stuff that they've done. But I want to say one more thing about organic engagement. There's a discussion. Um, there's a discussion that's happening. Let me reload these comments. Um, that someone posted. Carrie posted last night in the front row, and she said, "Oh my gosh, what's this about?" Facebook, she heard that Facebook is penalizing us for linking back to our website with any post that we do um, if we're not um, if we're not paying for it. Like we have to pay for everything, okay? Or, or we're being penalized. And um, she got that information from a live stream she saw that somebody did. And the live stream that the person was doing or video was based on Mike Stelzner's appearance lately, uh, recently on Amy Porterfield's podcast. And I do recommend that you listen to that. He makes some really good points. And what he said is that um, they've noticed a significant drop off in uh, subscribers and in uh, clicks and website, you know, website traffic um, and also engagement on Facebook. And, um, you know, and they do, they do so, you know, they're a big company and they do, um, all sorts of split testing and everything. So I, so I do really listen to what, what he has to say. And what they noticed was that, um, they, I, I can't, I can't tell you that the, the, the numbers exactly, but essentially, um, they were getting no, like so little engagement on, um, on anything that they posted that had a link. Uh, and so they deduced that Facebook was paying attention to that and um, and somehow bringing less and less traffic to their page. Okay, uh, so number one, most of us are not the social media examiner. Um, and so, however, um, and Amy, and so he said they promote nothing, nothing unless they pay for it. Now, most people don't have that option. So before you get totally freaked out. One thing I want you to look at is this. There's a feature inside Facebook that allows you to um, follow other pages, like their stats. 
I don't mean follow other pages like click follow and then you see all their posts, but actually follow there's let's see if we can find it right here. And I'm getting into a whole new um a whole new topic. The tri the price difference um Stephanie is um I don't know. I I don't know. If someone could ref if someone could tell us that would be great. I, I can't remember what the price difference is or tag tag Dinesh in this um, in the comments and he'll pop in and answer our question uh, our question on this um, okay so I'm going to show you this and what I'm what I'm going to show you is that um, if you look at I follow Kim Garst Amy Porterfield of course and um, oh I don't know where it is maybe it's on insights Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. I want you to look at this and don't look at mine. Okay. How pathetic. I want you to look. Oh, Amy Porterfield's has increased a lot. No. Okay. So look, Kim Garst, total page likes. Okay. Not that engagement. This is yes. Okay. Okay. This is what I want to show you. Look at her engagement. 32 and a half thousand. Now look at Amy Porterfield's this week, zero, okay, um, and Sue Zimmerman, 36, mine's pretty good, actually, um, I'm, I'm surprised, uh, look, it's suggesting for me to watch your page, Steph, and, um, okay, so you can watch other people's pages that are in a similar industry to you, so what, what, my point is this. When I look at Kim Gar's page and I see that she's getting 32 and a half thousand um, engagements in a week, then all hope is not lost, okay? So let's look at the kind of stuff she posts. And this is what you should be doing with the people in your niche, okay? Um, so she uses Post Planner a lot. I know that. She also posts a lot. And I do not like her, con I don't like the look of her content, to be quite honest. Like, it's just not my aesthetic. But people, people really clearly um, are uh, resonating with this. And she is not sponsoring this stuff. And she does have links. This is a total promotion. There's links all over this. She's got 899 likes. And this was not sponsored. So, so what I'm saying is that, you know, we can all freak out about the algorithm and we can all be like, you know, ah, uh, and, and maybe you aren't seeing a lot of, a lot of engagement on your page. I mean, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm not seeing the most engagement I've ever seen, but I say, as it has always been, be consistent, put stuff that your people want to see and you will get engagement and it will all be good. And then finally, on that note, um, what I would say is that do this live stream. And as you just saw, um, you know, if, if you're not comfortable on camera, you can get behind uh, your your desktop. Um, there's, you know, you can do a slide deck, whatever you want to do. Um, this software that I'm using right now is is Wirecast. It's ridiculously expensive. Uh, you could do the same thing with OBS. Um, so just Google OBS broadcasting. I don't even know what it stands for online broadcasting so system or online broadcasting software. If you can't figure out how to use it, then do a YouTube search on how to use OBS and, and do this because what's going to happen now is as soon as this broadcast ends, um, I only have seven, I don't have many viewers right now. Um, it says that I've reached 161 people have seven viewers. But I am going to, oh, as soon as I'm done with this, then I will, maybe I'll sponsor it. Maybe I won't. Um, but uh, Josh, uh, my assistant, is going to put SRT files with this, meaning when it runs in the feed, people will be able to see the text. Um, and maybe I'll even upload it to YouTube. And there's a million things I can do with it. But as far as Facebook is concerned, this will end up getting a lot of views. It will get a lot more views than if I just posted uh, a video, right? I know that because I am 
I will be posting my video from this week that I did about Evernote, um, which, by the way, if you guys did not get that yet, it was sent to, you, sent to your inboxes. Um, I did a training on Evernote and a workbook uh, that, to go with it, so make sure and check your inbox. If you aren't getting my emails and you're not on my list, you need to get on my list. So, um, what do you think of this new setup? This is, you know, my office is behind my house in a little carriage house. This is actually like a little apartment. And, you know, that brick wall that I normally broadcast in front of is behind me. And I put up a tapestry that looks like a brick wall that's not really a brick wall. And then my desk is right up to the wall. Well, the only window that's in this room, I'm right in front of this window. I don't have any light on me. I don't have my bright lights like I normally do. I'm just in front of uh, daylight because every, you know, natural light is is the best. And um, so I think this is going to be my new setup. I don't know. The sound might not be good because I don't have any curtains. So it probably sounds kind of tin canny, but I'm going to work on that. Um, okay, you guys. Well, have a great day. If you have any questions, put them down below. Uh, make sure and tag me, especially if this broadcast is over so I don't, so I don't miss your questions or your comments. And um, I will see you soon.